short and easy to use, default arguments allow you to implement function overloads without the boilerplate. Like many Kotlin features, this can feel like magic. Are you curious to find out its secrets? If you learn something new, like the video and subscribe to the channel, but only if you think we've earned it. If you need to overload a function instead of implementing the same function multiple times, you can use default arguments. If you don't pass a value for the argument, the default argument is used. Default arguments can be applied to constructors as well. And they can be used similar to regular functions with default arguments. OK. What happens when you call this from the Java programming language? Well. Java, by default, doesn't recognize the default value overload. To instruct the compiler to generate the overload methods, use the at JVM overloads annotation on your Kotlin function. Now, both play of toy and play are visible in Java. Want to see what's going on under the hood? Let's look at the Java decompile code to see what the compiler generates for us. So tools, Kotlin, show Kotlin bytecode, then press the decompile button. We see that the compiler generates two functions, play, that has one parameter, toy, and is called when default arguments are not used, and a synthetic method, play default, that has three parameters, toy, an int, and an object. It's called whenever the default arguments are used. The object parameter is always null, but the value of int differs. Let's see how. The value of the int parameter of play default is computed based on the number and the index of the arguments that have a default argument passed in. Based on the value of this parameter, the Kotlin compiler knows with which parameters to call the play function. In our play example code, the argument at index 0 is using the default argument. Therefore, play default is called with uh, var1 is 2 at the power 0, so 1. The play default implementation that knows that the value of var0 should be replaced with a default value. OK, let's take a more complex example to see how the in parameter behaves. Let's expand our play function and at the call site use the default argument for doggo and toy. Let's see what happened in the decompile code. We see now our in parameter is 5. So here's how this was computed. The parameters at positions 0 and 2 are using the default argument. So var 3 is 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 2, so 5. In a bitwise end operations, the parameters are evaluated as such. var 3 and 1 is different than 0 is true, so var 0 is good doggo. var 3 and 2 different than 0 is false, so var 1 is not replaced. And var3 and 4 is different than 0, it's true, so var2 is squeaky toy. Based on the bit mask applied to var3, the compiler can compute which parameters should be replaced with default values. So in the examples uh, above, we might have noticed that the value of the object parameter is always null, and that it's actually never used in the play default function. This parameter is connected to supporting default values in overriding functions. So what happens when we want to override a function with default arguments? Let's change the example and make play an open function of doggo and doggo an open class. And let's create a new playful doggo class that extends doggo and overrides play. When we want to set a default value in playful doggo play, we see that we are not allowed. An overriding function is not allowed to specify default values for its parameters. OK, so let's remove the override and check the decompile code. So we see a throw new unsupported operation exception. Super calls with default arguments not supported in this target function play. Hmm. So does this mean that super calls with default arguments will be supported in the future? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. For constructors, the decompile Java code has only one difference. So constructors also create a synthetic method. But instead of the object used in functions, constructors use a default constructor marker. This parameter is called with null, like the objects in functions. 
Secondary constructors with default arguments will also generate another synthetic method using a default constructor marker, like primary constructors. Simple and sweet, default arguments decrease the amount of boilerplate code we need to write when dealing with overloaded methods, allowing us to set default values for our parameters. As is the case for a lot of Kotlin keywords, we can understand their magic by picking at the code it writes for us. Check out our other Kotlin vocabulary videos for more. Thanks for watching, and go write better Android apps with Kotlin.